Hello, class. Hello, teacher. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, hello. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, good evening. Sorry, guys, I was having problems with my computer. Um, my keyboard wasn't working. I finally got it to work, so that's the important thing. Okay, all right, guys, uh, welcome to today's class. How are you guys today? Good, teacher. Good. Hello, good evening. All right, good to see you guys. How has how was your day? Uh, I had a busy day, teacher. You had a busy day. Oh, okay. Good busy or bad busy? Um, good busy. Oh, good. Okay, excellent. Yeah, because when we have a good busy day. The, the day goes by really quickly and um, you know you you don't feel it but when it's a uh, bad busy you know you're very stressed and everything okay all right guys well um we'll start with the attendance um so wow i don't know what happened to the other students what happened to everybody i i only have a few students irvin are you there Yes, teacher. I am here. Okay. Yes, teacher. Good, good, good. Hey, Fabiola. Hey. Oh, teacher. Hello, Fabiola. Hey, good to see you. Or better said, good to hear you. Yes, teacher. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, we we missed you, so I'm happy that you that you connected. Me too. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Well, um, okay, so like I said, I'm gonna take attendance. So we have Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Okay, great. Um, and what about Javi? Present teacher. All right, Andres. Present teacher. All right, excellent. Dennis Orlando. Dennis Orlando? No, right? Okay, Edgar Menjivar. Edgar Menjivar? No, not here. Okay, uh, Edith Jorleni. Uh, Edith Jorleni? No. Okay, uh, what about um, Heidi? Oh, no, wait a sec. No, sorry. Uh, Irvin. Irvin? I'm here. I'm oh, yes, teacher, I'm here. Okay. I am the, with I am work with other computer. Excuse me. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just that yeah. <laughs> camera. Yeah, yeah camera I work. keeps on turning yeah, off. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Sorry, teacher, it's but okay. I am listening to you. It's yeah. okay. No worries. No worries. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, Fabiola. Present, teacher. Okay, great. Okay, good. Um, Heidi. Heidi, is Heidi here? No, right? Heidi's not here? Okay. All right. Uh, what about Irene? Is Irene here? No? Okay. All right. Um, Ivan? Ivan here? Ivan? Not Ivan, okay, all right. Uh, what about Josue? Present teacher. Okay, great. Welcome, Josue. Uh, what about uh, Jury? Is Jury here? Good evening, teacher. Okay, welcome, Jury. Thank you. And uh, Juan Francisco? That's a teacher. All right, welcome, Juan Francisco. Luis? Teacher. Welcome, Manuel Alejandro. No, right? Natalia. Natalia? No, okay. All right. Uh, Wendy? 
Wendy? No. Okay. Uh, Warner. Present teacher. All right. Welcome, Warner. Um, and Yvonne? Yvonne is not here? Okay. All right. Eh, Edgardo. Oh, sorry, Edgar. Edgar, sorry. Edgar Enriquez. No, okay. All right. Eli? No. Okay. Uh, Jose Montes? Present. All right. Welcome. And finally, Jose Ayala. Ayala? No. Okay. Wow. Okay. So I'm going to go again, um, saying the names of the people that I have, um, or better said, that I have not heard. Uh, so we have first uh, Denis Orlando, Edgar Menjivar. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yeah, look, yeah, look, no. Um, and then we have Haiti. Haiti? No. Um, Irene? Ivan? Uh, Manuel Alejandro? Natalia? Wendy? Yvonne? Present. Oh, okay. Welcome, Yvonne. Thank you. Edgar Enriquez? Edgar Enriquez, Eli, and Jose Ayala. Okay. All right, so those are the people that uh, we didn't hear. So I guess I didn't miss anybody. Okay, great, excellent. Thank you guys. And by the way, uh, thank you very much uh, for working on the platform. Uh, remember that uh, we were supposed to uh, have finished and um, we well today in the morning I, I uh, was able to see all of your um, your progress and thank you very much because uh, you guys have done a very good progress in fact I noticed that there were some of you that have, were already on the midterm some um, had finished the midterm so I was very pleased to see that. Um, others have, I even saw some people that had finished the, the final exam. So I was very happy about that. Um, so very good. Well, and you know, even if you don't finish it, but at least you've tried it. And that's what's important because remember that what we, we talked about yesterday that, um, you know, you, you can always go ahead and try again and try, try, try um, until you get 100%. So even if you don't start, sorry, if, even if you don't, um, you know, have um, like all of the information and you're not going to get 100% at the beginning, but the more you try, the more you get better at it. So that's good. Good for you guys. Excellent. Okay, so everybody, um, I have my PowerPoint. Here. Oh, by the way, um, everybody saw that the um, the mistake in the platform had already been um, fixed, right? So you guys can go ahead and fix your um, the mistake, you know, that from from one point nine. Because remember that if you do not fix it you're not gonna be able to get, um, you know, the 100%. So go go back and fix it. It's just switching the, the, the answers. At, at this moment, I haven't found anything else, any other problems in the other, um, the other homework, uh, the other piece of homework. But the only thing I, I haven't checked is the midterm and the final exam. Those are the only two that I haven't checked. So if you guys find any mistakes in the final exam or in the midterm, please let me know. Okay, has anybody found any mistakes so far in the midterm or the final exam? No. No? Okay, if you guys find anything, just let me know, okay? Because um, like I said, I've checked all of the, the homework um, and so far I haven't been able to detect any, any wrong answers, but um, you know, that's just 
from my point of view. I don't know. I'm, I'm human and I can make a mistake, right? So if you guys can help me out, if you can be my, my eyes and ears, that would be wonderful as well. Okay, so um, we're going to start with the... the PowerPoint here. Everybody can see this, I'm hoping. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right, good. So this is the intermediate module one. We still continue working on unit two procedures. And the date is Wednesday, July 21st, 2021. It's day number 11. Your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay. Got it. All right, so this is your turn here. So this was something um, that we did yesterday. So I said, work individually, write a 10 line paragraph where you describe a process you have, you have to follow in your workplace. Use transition expressions from the box. Oh, sorry. Work in pairs in your assigned breakout room. Share your paragraph with your classmate. Okay, so we're going to start with this. Um, Yesterday, we already wrote the 10 line paragraph. I asked the guys to finish it off for homework if you hadn't done that yet. Um, I asked you to finish that. So I'm hoping that everybody did that. And um, now we're just going to be working with our partner and sharing your information. Okay. So let me get you first into breakout rooms. Oh, Miss Jessica, I'm working right now and I have to do something. I need five or ten minutes. Okay, okay. Um, I'm going to assign you um, into a group automatic because the, you know, Zoom automatically assigns you into a group. But, um, you know, if you can't be in a group, that's okay. All right. So just, um, I mean, you're going to receive the, the, the invitation, but, you know. Just letting you know. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. Okay, let me just, just give me a moment. Just a second, guys. Something's not adding up. Um, okay, I'm hoping everybody gets a group. Okay, so um, I'm going to be Okay, so I'm going to give you um, about uh, 10 minutes so that you guys can discuss, okay? And we're opening up the rooms. Hello, Werner. Hello, teacher. How are you feeling today? Um, <laughs> so, teacher, uh, is uh, um, como se dice is to um, como carga de trabajo. Today is uh, the work hard. You had to work hard today. Work. Yes. 
for two days the the no attended at my <laughs> athletics. Oh, okay. I, yeah. So yeah, I understand. For class in, in, in for individual class is uh, the time is is not um, no break. <laughs> Yeah, I can imagine. So, oh, good. Okay, good. All right, but you are feeling better now, like um, health wise? Uh, yes, teacher. Health, health wise, you're feeling better from, um, your, from your health. You understand health? Uh, Salud. Yes. Salud? You're feeling better health wise? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mejor, o sea, es very better. better. De un, yes, de un uh, tenth, the one on tenth, eight. Oh, okay. So uh, that you're feeling better. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. That's good. That's good. Okay. Excellent. Okay, um, all right. So go ahead and um, talk about uh, the procedures. I know. Um, actually, um, I'm actually going to add um, to your group, um, Yvonne, because um, I know that Warner and Fabiola were not here, but you guys can discuss a little bit, okay? Um, even though you didn't um, write anything, but you guys can discuss um, what, um, uh, what are the procedures in your workplace, okay? All right, and Fabiola as well. Um, <laughs> Are you are you able um, to talk uh, to um, participate in talking class, Fabiola? Fabiola, are you there? Hola. Are you there? <laughs> okay, teacher, I don't have a uh, student manuals, the computer. Oh, okay. No um, okay, let me let, let me send it to you then through the to through the chat. Okay. I'll okay. Send it through the chat. All right. Um, just give me a moment. All right. Hello, Yvonne. Hello, teacher. So, uh, I, huh? I was in trouble with my my uh with my son. I think uh, I have to. Uh, out of the of the meeting, and uh, I was with with uh, with Irene. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. She didn't hear me. But Irene is no longer here. Really? También se salió. That's why I put you here because I didn't see any other group that was. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Uh huh. Uh, I didn't see any any other group that was missing an, a member. Okay. And, um, so I guess she's not there anymore. Um, okay. Um, uh, Warner, would you do me a favor? Uh, do you think you can send through the chat in in Zoom? Can you send the uh, the digital student book? Okay, teachers. Oh, no. So that Fabiola can have it. Uh, no teacher resources. <laughs> no me deja teacher. Dice que. No, no le deja mandar? No. Teacher, ya me está cargando la, la computadora para ver el manual. Oh, okay. Okay. Good. Uh -huh. All right. So, go ahead, guys, and talk about the procedures. And I'll see you guys in a moment, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Oh, okay. Um, and re, renew, renewal? Renovacion. Renewal. Ah, renewal. 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 Ah, renewal. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. The, the identification card only has uh, two years. So in two years, it has to be renovated. Renewed. 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 Oh, okay. The, the identification card uh, is is only only uh, age 10, 10, 10 to, to 17, to 70 yeah. years. Ah, yes. On, only, only. Uh, maybe when it's uh, an emergency, we can give uh, for minus, uh, for example, five to 10 years, but only in an emergency. Okay. Because okay. suppose that the kid has to to have a passport, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then uh, ten to seventeen, they can have a another mm minority -hmm. with um social network. Social, but network. for, uh, social networks, but uh -huh. for the situation, um, she took some calls and and the same process. She works uh -huh. uh, from home. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I we can listen the conversation and she sometimes she talk about the the process and the the boss uh, check his uh, work and sometimes something calidad, le dice. quality yes, quality quality mm -hmm. the, the say some numbers and and all the things is i think it's a very stressed job you need to have a great healthy mental health yes because some people have upset and call and say something rude, I think is is a very it's a difficult job. I think is you yeah. need be passion and and have a ser hard and I think yes patient is the key. Okay. Yes because it is a very difficult uh, job and for example in my case the time of call it must be at least 15 minutes um, because they they are a very long call maybe I, sometimes a call can can durar no sé cómo se dice the call me. Yeah. and yeah. now and, and now now I'm going to read the homework. So, uh, I, partner. hi. So, it's so funny. You guys, you guys were, were, were working together. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, because I have problems with my computer and I had to rest in and I couldn't connect it on time. Oh, okay. Yeah, because... <laughs> Uh, Yvonne also Yvonne. had a problem and then she came in and I assigned her to our group and she's like teacher but I was with Irene and I said but Irene is not here <laughs> so so I said she probably had some problems too okay. yes, yes. Um, and, and, and I connect I connected again but uh, we're going to uh, work together with Josue Actually, it's yeah. already time for us to bring our class. Yeah, I. <laughs> yeah, because I, I was uh, scanning two containers, and for that reason, I asked for ten minutes. Okay. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. No worries. No worries. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna actually bring everybody back. Okay. So don't be afraid that everybody's gonna start coming. Okay. Thanks. So when 
I don't tell anybody. Everybody's like, ah, oh, like invaded. <laughs> like, <everybody. laughs> so let me, yeah, here we go. Okay, so we're going to okay. talk right now. Okay, so let's have everybody come back. Well, Irene. Okay. In great a ten, I'm going to read it. Uh, great a ten line paragraph where you describe a process who, ha who you have to follow in your workplace. You can see. <laughs> <laughs> the blooper. <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> You shouldn't have to say, you should have let her come here. Oh, it was awesome. Hi, Irene. Excuse me. Oh, it was I awesome. I was so concentrated and working a lot with Jose. Jose is so dedicated. Yeah. Okay, by the way, guys, I just wanted to let you know um, there's a big uh, rainstorm right now in my house. So just in case I disappear, you know why. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay, but hopefully I won't. Hopefully I won't disappear. Okay. All right. So can you guys share a little bit of your procedures? Irene already shared with the class. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so would anybody else like to share with the class the procedures at your workplace? Anybody? Our own procedure or the colleague's procedure, the, 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 the class? Your procedure. Ah, okay, okay, I will. Well, um, first I log in into my computer for attendance in a tool because I'm, I'm working from home right now. And then as uh, so a second uh, check-in at the beginning, I greet my manager and colleagues in the, we have a, a chat channel. I don't know if chat channel or channel chat. Chat channel. Yeah, chat channel sign. Ah, okay, chat channel. And, and uh, we greet each other to identify who is online, etc. cetera. Um, Afterwards, I open my email for any customer uh, or request I need to follow up then, and also open my tools at the same time to work on these uh, requests. Then I start calling the customers I have pending with the one I have pending, pending task and follow up with them. Finally, I try to make one or two sell uh, every day. That is mostly general. Excellent. Very good. Bravo. Thank you. Okay. Let me give you one of these. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Excellent. Uh, who else? Who else will be my brave me? person? All right. Me? Great. Jose, go ahead for it. Okay. First, greet the customer with an enthusiastic tone of voice. After that, use rapport with the customer. Then ask for the purpose of call. Afterwards, use empathy, then ask for additional concerns. After that, ask the customer the phone number to get account information. Then validate the account asking for the passport info. After that, I ask for the uh, for proving question in order to get customer needs then present a good offer in order to save customer account. And finally, close the call and thanks the customer for being part of the company. Mm. Very good, bravo, excellent. Okay. Awesome. All right. And I like that part about um, thanking the customer for being mm -hmm. Me too. Yeah. Right now, have good internet. <laughs> Oh, let's take advantage of that. Bravo, hurry up, the rain starts. Ooh. One of these. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, oh, I can share. I can share the screen that I that I oh, can yes, yesterday. I that. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> uh, you're absolutely right. I had forgotten about that. We will do that in just a moment. Okay. Okay. Good. Um, anybody else? One more person that would like to share their procedures at work with the class? Me, teacher. Okay, go for it. Um, 
and improve the the the, the presentation. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> you, you made a presentation. Okay. No, it's another one. It's oh. the, the, the... Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, but in my case, um, a customer, I have many, many aggressive customers to one person and so on, choose that, oh, on, Natalia, well, that problem. Sorry, before, before we continue, um, is this the presentation from, from yesterday or is this the one that from, from the homework for today? So the homework for today. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh-huh, but the SNRI, I have the SNRI to proceed uh, in ah, my world always okay. with that. So mm -hmm. it overlaps mm -hmm. here. Okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, in my case that I work in a bank in the collections area, many times in my teens we find with difficult clients. So the procedures for, try to, for treat to this kind of client is first, it's very important what the account advisor has to do when meet a difficult customer and follow the procedure to take a good action. Then if the situation becomes harder or complicated, the employee could call his supervisor or manager. After that, talk to the customer and hear him what is the problem or the complaint is the step the, in this step is very important. Know what kind of client is, is and know him financial situation. Next, talk about the problem or complaint and offer the most suitable solution. And finally, reach an agreement. Very good, bravo, excellent. Hold on, don't, don't turn it off, don't turn it off yet. Uh, oh, okay. Can you tell me what is the word before solution? Suitable. Okay. Who's the, uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Suitable. Um, yes. You're, you're, yes. La más adecuada, diría yo. No. no that's, that's right. You're right. Um, so you are pronouncing it very British. Ah, okay. Now, how would you pronounce it American? Anybody have any Suitable. idea? Suitable. Sorry? With R. Suitable. With. Suitable. No. Yeah, very close. Suitable. Suitable. Oh, suitable. Suitable. Not sweet because it's you know, suda. Okay. Suitable. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Suitable. Okay. So, do you guys see? Um, oh, da, 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 da. Hold on, give me a moment. Um, Okay, so you guys can see this word? Mm -hmm. Right, okay. okay. Yeah. That's the word. That's the word, it's, it's uh, suitable in American English. But if you want to pronounce it British, you say, Natalia? Suitable. Suitable, yes. Suitable. <laughs> suitable. Suitable. Okay, good. All right, that's it. Any other questions, guys? So you have? Oh. All right, in that case, um, okay, so we're going to be listening to the presentation that uh, Natalia had with, with Edgar, right? Edgar, Menjivar, mm. and Natalia, right? Yeah. Mm. The presentation then. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday. Yes, there is, um, yeah. Um, okay. All right. So um, I don't know who's going to be. If you guys have a PowerPoint, you can put it on or you know. go ahead. I don't have, no, uh, we don't have a presentation. Okay. No problem then. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, okay. One of you has to speak, right? Because there are three situations. Because I, I take the notes. I, I going to take the notes. Sure. Okay. 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 Uh, teacher, teacher, uh, excuse me, but uh, 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 now 
I don't have uh, internet in my house. I am with the, the data of my cell phones and I don't know how much time I can be here with my, with my data. Okay, okay, no worries. Um, uh, let's, let's see how long it goes for. Hopefully it will last. Um, and just, yeah, I, I appreciate it. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, okay. So are we ready, Edgar and Natalia? Um, Natalia. Natalia. Sorry, sorry. I have some problems here with my daughters. Excuse me. <laughs> In my case, uh, I have well, I shoot uh, the items the very guy received uh, a customer I received with one of your clients. I choose that. Mm -hmm. So uh, why I choose that? Because uh, I think if you have a manual to treat that kind of the customer, when you become when that customer become harder or complicated, the employee has to prepare to treat for this customer. And how is prepared for that? Uh, in many times, uh, in many times, the employee who call the supervisor or call the manager. And I, there is many options to offer. Maybe if it's a restaurant, you can offer a change the plate or the dish. Or if you are a, a supplier, uh, has a devolution or, or some kind of discount to, come, to resolve that problem, maybe. I don't know. Also, it's the pain of the situation, um, but it's very important to have a manual to treat the, the customer, difficult customer. Mm. Okay, very good, excellent. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess so, Edgar, you can say your part? Yeah, teacher. Okay, presentation. Okay. We, we we can see. Yes, yes we see. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, okay. Uh, a customer is angry that his food uh, was uh, not delivered on time. Uh, first, uh, we will review the order and the evaluate the time the order was taken that after determine the time of arrival of the product and finally make a compens compensation for the late time. Is one, one, one case. Um, and, and two, uh, a client is, is very aggressive toward one of, the, one of his employees. First, we will listen to, to his discomfort and then determine why he is aggressive with one of the employees. After that, we will take the case to the manager and finally give a satisfactory solution to his problem. Yeah, it's all. Okay, thank you, bravo. Finish. No, don't, uh, don't pick it up, don't pick it up. Keep it, keep it, keep it okay? All right, okay. Um, hold on, no, 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 keep sharing. Ah, sorry, sorry. Okay. Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask you, how do you pronounce? Does anybody know how to pronounce that word? 
Arrival. 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 Exactly. Arrival. 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 Okay. Good. Um, anything else? Any other words that you guys want to ask about of how to pronounce it? All right. Well, thank you very much, Afghan. Um, thank you. Ivan, el DJ Ivan. Okay, well, that's it's good to have fun. It's good to have fun. Okay, all right, so very good, guys. Um, bravo, very, very good. I'm proud of you guys. Um, all of your steps were very clear. Um, I like how you thought about different ideas, and you really, even though <clears throat> I think. If I'm not mistaken, nobody here is in the restaurant industry, right? Is there anybody here directly in the restaurant industry? No, right? Yeah, yeah, I didn't think so. Um, so even though nobody is in the in the um, restaurant industry, but you all got you all of you really put yourself in that in those shoes and really lived out of that role so good for you guys i i really am proud of that you were able to do that so very good bravo excellent and let me give you one of these two <laughs> okay so excellent all right now it's time for us to move on to our next part so let me show you our Presentation. Everybody can see it, I'm hoping. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. So, conversation here. We have. Oh, hold on. Okay. Uh, all right. So, first questions that we're going to be discussing. What steps do you work in, sorry, what steps do you follow in your everyday work? What happens when an employee, oh no, wait a sec. No, nope. give me a second, that was not it. <gasps> give me one second. Let's see what happened here. Are you, do you guys, um, also have a storm in your house? Mm, my area just stopped uh, like 10 minutes ago, but yes, it was okay. windy. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't seem like to be, it, it doesn't seem to be a very big storm. Like, I don't think it's going to last for a long time, but yeah. No, maybe not. Yeah, we'll have to see. Okay, just give me a second. All right, um, got it guys, sorry about that. Let's, um, let's share once again. Okay, so everybody can see it? Yes, yes teacher. Yes. All right, so the question is, is there a manual with procedures in your workplace? 
So think about your workplace. Everybody has procedures in their workplace. The only question is, is there something written down as to what are the procedures, okay? And do you think this module can be improved? So is there a way of improving what has been written down? I'm gonna get you guys to go back. Actually, I'm going to create uh, groups again. Okay, and I want you guys to discuss this, okay? Um, okay? So I'm gonna give you just about seven minutes um, to talk about this. And um, let me recreate the groups. Okay. All right. Uh, Werner? Is Werner there? No? Oh, yes. Werner, you're yes. just one device, one, one. right? Only one device. Okay. All right. So here we go. Let's open the rooms. Hi, Luis. No teacher, I'm alone. I know, I came here to make you company because <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I just realized that um, I see um, Josue is, is your, supposed to be your partner, but I guess he went to do something at work. So he uh, okay. joined, um, so we're gonna have to wait till he comes, okay? So in the meantime, let's talk you and I, okay? Okay. Um, so, do you have a manual at your workplace? Um, for my position or about all? In, in your workplace, I, like any kind um, of. Yes, yes, we have a manual, um, ISO manual. Okay. Uh, do you know ISO? ISO. Uh, ISO, as normal ISO, do you know? No. No. <laughs> okay. What okay. Is this, this, sorry. What is it? Can you explain to me? Yes, it's a kind of international. Um, ¿Cómo se llaman normas? Norms. No son polit norms. Uh, it's a, 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 a international norm about um, a quality and procedures um, management. Something like that. <laughs> Okay, okay, yeah. all right. So those are the the ma that's the manual of those kind of norms. Yes. Oh. Okay. Yes. There is a manual for all um, a, um, production process or an activity that the employees do. And okay, so can you give me examples of things that the manual contains? It contains the every um, steps that the uh, employee or in charge of the process have to do. Uh, describe what is the objective of the the process or the procedures. That the procedures uh, contains all the steps. Contain um, diagrams. ¿Cómo se pronuncia en inglés? Diagrams. Diagrams about the the process or the the activity that the um, we are talking about in that uh, manual. Mm, okay. Okay. So, could you give me an example of a pers a procedure? Uh huh. Uh, for example, my uh, procedure is first I send an email asking for the sales projection to the um, sellers team. 
Um, then when I get the, the projections, I compare with the uh, record sales record of the customers. And if there is uh, some issue, I correct them. Um, after that, I uh, talk with the uh, sales exec executive about the new sales uh, signal. Um, if they agree, I made the new forecast for the, the sales. And um, when, I, when it is ready, I sent to the uh, material requirement planner and line scheduler uh, for they check about some issue of um, raw materials or um, production processing production processing capability. Um, in just okay, and I have a question. Um... Like in the manual, all of those things are are um, written down. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Okay. In another uh, uh, another um, uh, things uh, more specific, like uh, uh, seeing send this uh, specific format or uh, write here or sign here or send to the manager's team some specific information. I see, okay. Yeah. And how do you think this manual can be improved? Um, I don't understand. What is improve? Improve means? is to make better. Not to make better, ah, okay. Um, maybe I think with the, the timeline that is assigned for every steps because uh, there is a, some um, activities that need more um, time or some activity that uh, have too much time. Yeah, something like that, maybe. Okay, okay. All right. Um, so if, if you were in charge of, of making a new manual, what would you do to make it a better manual? Um, I think I um, put uh, the information, the, the way uh, for do the um, the activities in the in um in an, an virtual environment like like us in uh, virtual meetings or uh, virtual uh, signs. I, I don't know is the the correct way to say the the. La firma electrónica. Oh, uh, uh, digital signature. Digital signature, uh, something like that. Because uh, when the com pandemic comes, there was a heavy issue because we have to go and sign some pages and that was a very complicated. Okay. Hello, Josue. All right, Josue is in the house. Sorry. I was running <laughs> to <who's coming. laughs> Okay. All right. Okay. I was I was taking your place, Josue, but now that you are here, you can go ahead and talk with Luis. Okay. 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 Right, so go ahead. I'll I'll I'm going to join another group. Okay. Hello, Josue. Hi guys. How are you? Hi. Uh, um, well, uh, we are talking about the the procedures. In our jobs, in, I was telling to San Francisco that uh, a few months ago we changed the the great policies because the the other that we have are, are very older. <laughs> in, from July 15. Uh, the new policies rules in our bank. Mm, the uh, origination, yes. Wow, so very recently. Yes, uh, it's a lot of space, uh, almost 155 pages. Oh. <laughs> uh, 
Yes. Oh my goodness, that's horrible. It's a part for mortgage, uh, another part for credit card origination, also for personal loans. Oh my goodness. Wow. It's the Bible of loans. Yeah, wow. Okay. Um, uh, are you guys finished or do you need more time? No, teacher, we yeah, finish. Okay. Well, faster. <laughs> okay, I like that. Both of you had the opportunity of speaking? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment. Okay? Okay. Yes. All right. <clears throat> really is necessary that they that they don't want they they are preventing the fishing or some attract at the company. But in this moment, it's really common. And um, for example, and now we can't take anything of that computer, virtual computer, to the physical computer. In other moment, we can we uh, before the pandemic, we we change information between the physical computer uh, to the virtual computer. Now we are working like an island like an island with that virtual computer, we can export or import information, even we can receive any message. That is a process that they changed recently. And, and that occurred because, it's, because it, there is a bank and, and other, other thing, the companies like insurance, insurance and they need to say that information in for example recently i was i i knew that new co-workers just work for for a little time when they assign a computer and they need they create process to know where they live uh, with what what is going on when the that a person is fired or when they they stop working with a company because they take a computer they give All right, everybody's in the house. <laughs> okay. Like Ivan says. Exactly. It's just that I had to take Ivan's spot because he's not there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So anyways, guys, um, did you have enough time to talk about it? Yeah? Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. Um, so, um, would you guys like to share what you would improve from the manual? What would you improve if you could? Yeah, and in my case, teacher, uh, always is necessary to improve the manuals because in my work, we have a general manual and with this general manual, they revise another procedures uh, for different kind of service of situation. So um, always have an improve because the external factory or internal factor change many times. So it's no, you can take uh, one manual that is uh, why uh, and, and work for that because the situation may be changed. So it's necessary improve. Okay, yeah, I agree. Very good. What about uh, the rest of it? Do you do you agree with um, Natalia, or you have a different opinion, or what? What can you add to that? Okay. 
in my case, uh, was difficult thinking in something changed because in my work for the pandemic, the things changed. And some rules of, for example, uh, for the moment stop for um, the situation, pandemic situation. Okay, okay. All right. Um, so how would you improve things? How, how would you improve it? I think uh, in my word, the, the manual uh, changes uh, every year because uh, it's a school and every year uh, the kids and teenagers uh, create a different situation. And all the time uh, we need to, to have uh, some rules or aspect to to make for when the situation um, se presente? Um, comes up. Comes up. I, 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 for my nivel, mi nivel? Le, um, level. Hello? For my level, I, I think don't change anything. Okay, all right. Okay, that sounds good. That's good. All right, so the one for this year is perfect for you, Javi. Okay. All right. Yes, yes. Okay, sounds good. All right, excellent. Thank you. Um, okay, very good, guys. I'm going to be taking attendance right now. So um, here we go. Um, we'll start with Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Um, Habit. Present teacher. Okay, very good. And we have um, Andres. Present teacher. Okay, good. And uh, Dennis Orlando. No, okay. And Edgar uh, Menjibar. Present teacher. And um, uh, Edith Jorleni. And Irvin. Present teacher. Present. Good. Excellent. Uh, Fabiola. Present teacher. All right. Very good. Um, let's see. Uh, Heidi. Heidi? No, not yet. Okay. All right, uh, Irene. Present teacher. Very good. Um, Ivan. Present teacher. Okay, good. Excellent. Uh, Josue. Present teacher. All right, excellent. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Okay, great. Uh, Jury. Present teacher. Luis. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Manuel. Manuel, no, right? Uh, Natalia. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Wendy. Wendy. Uh, Warner. Present teacher. Okay, great. Um, Yvonne? Present. Okay. Uh, Edgar Enriquez? Edgar Enriquez? Okay. Uh, Eli? No. And uh, Jose Montes? Present. All right. And Jose Ayala? No. Okay. All right. Um, okay, that's great, guys. Thank you. And we're going to continue here with uh, the uh, with the rest of our conversation. Can everybody see it? Yes, teacher. 
Good. Okay. So today we're going to be looking at a conversation between Sarah and Walter. So we'll start actually one by one. So here we go. Sir, I forgot to process how to process a payment. Sir, I forgot I how to process a payment. A payment. Good. First, servers need to know the correct way. First, First servers need, need to know the correct way. 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 Present the menu. Is it present or present? Present. 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 Good. Remember what I told you. I told you before about uh, words that can be nouns and verbs. This is one of these words, okay? So this word right here, I'm, I'm stopping for a moment so that you guys can see. This word that we have here is one of those words that it could be a noun and it can be a verb, okay? So the present, el presente, right? Uh, is, is the stresses on the first syllable. So the present, present. But when we have the verb, it's to present. The stress is on the second syllable. Okay. Is that clear for everybody? Yes. Yeah. So the stress is over here. It's not present, it's present. Okay. Uh, for, uh, for verbs, the stress, it is on the second syllable, you said. And, where, and it is, there is a noun. The stress, it is in the first syllable. Okay. Correct. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Sounds good, everybody? Yes. It's clear? Okay. Perfect. Yes. Okay. Let's move on to the next part. Um, wouldn't it be better? Wouldn't it be better? Wouldn't it be better? Wouldn't it be better? better. Wouldn't it be better? If chapter one, if chapter one is about how servers, is about how how servers, servers should greet the customers. Should greet the customers. Should greet the customers. Should greet, 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 greet customers. And after that, and after, and after that, 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 how they need to present the menu. How, How do they need to present the menu. Menu. Present the menu. Good. Again, present. Not present. 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 Okay. Present. Present. Okay. So once again, the stress is on the second syllable. Yeah. Present. All right. Good. Um. I wanted to call your attention to also the fact that even though you don't see it at the beginning, you see it in the middle, but you still need to use after that, not after, but after that. Okay. So we always use another word after the word after. Valga la redundante. Okay. Is that clear? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Let's continue. Actually, 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 it would be better. It would be better if we include the server's dress code. The server's dress code and appearance. And and appearance. Appearance. In the first chapter. In, In the, the first, first chapter. chapter. Good. All right. Okay. Uh, good. Uh, any questions about the vocabulary or the pronunciation? Maybe I have a do uh, on the the pronunciation of chapter and capture. Capture is not in. It's not correct. There is no word that is capture. No. Capture. Capture. Mm -hmm. Capture the capturar. Uh huh. 
Yeah. Um, is in a chapter that is a chapter of the book. Mm -hmm. I I don't see you, teacher. The the letters. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Okay. So. And couch. Cow? No, couch. Catch. No, catch is an old one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this is not the same. So this is no. chapter. Ch chapter. Yeah. And this is capture. Capture. Okay. So over here, this part here, the second syllable. So basically, the, 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 I guess the, um, the confusion is with the with the where you put the ch sound, right? So in this one, the ch sound is at the beginning. Oh, hold on. Um, so yeah. so over here, the so over here, the chapter. Ch -ch -ch. So chapter, and here. The ch sound is actually at the end. That's true. This part right here makes the sound ch. So we have this is chapter and this is cap capture. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Any questions so far about that? Oh, that word is clear. I have a doubt with the other word servers. Do you have to deal with the pronunciation or with the meaning? No, the meaning because I guess it's referring to the same wait, wait The terms. waiters. Yeah, wait. exactly. The servers uh, can re refer to the waiters. But it, it, the context can be used in the same way or I don't know. Or servers like a servidores. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I, but, when I read that it, word, I thought in server, physical server, computers. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. So the context is going to tell you everything, right? Here, we're talking okay. about a menu, right? Or like at uh, uh, the ch a church, right? There are servers. Yes. Uh, People. The, yes. Um, mm -mm. But that would be more like a servant. Mm. Okay. Uh -huh. But but um, over here, yes, we can have like we can have an internet server, for example, yes, or um, the email server. But the context tells you that it's pretty clear that we're talking about the waiters because we're we have here menu, right? So we're we're talking about a restaurant, right? So we're talking about people that work in yeah. a restaurant that are servers. In other words, these are waiters. Okay, servers are people that serve the food, serve the drinks. Okay, does that make sense? And here we're talking about the dress code. Mm -hmm. Do we understand dress code? Yes, I understand. Yes, teacher. What is yes, the, code? the direction? What to dress or, or not to dress? Uh, exactly. The dress uh, code is um, what kind of what kind of clothes is appropriate? Mm. So the dress code, uh, for example, for um, for, um, some, for, for some restaurants, which is probably the majority of the restaurants, is that you have to have a uniform, right? That's the dress code. But other places, they may not need a, uh, a uniform, but they may ask you to dress in a certain color, right? Maybe they say, okay, everybody, you have to dress in black or you have mm. to dress in white, or you have to dress in, you know, blue, whatever, right? So that would be a dress code as well, okay? So and dress code is not the same like appearance, or the dress code gives me the appearance? Um, no, what, what do you mean? A dress code, if you follow up the, the code, you will look in one way, but 
in this case says also an appearance. Uh, what is that? Oh, okay. referring to, so, uh, I mean, the way how you need to. Exactly, yeah. So the dress code is is talking about your clothes and your shoes, right? Uh -huh. and the appearance, um, we'll be talking about like your, um, your. For example, no makeup or stuff like that. Yeah, it will be including the makeup, uh, the jewelry, um, uh -huh. the, the, uh, the hair, how it's um, combed, a beard also, um, and so for some, for the men. If you're wearing beard, if uh, you know, ah, okay, all okay, that is part of the appearance, mm. right? Okay, great. All right, mm -hmm. is that clear for everybody? I would you like to explain again dress code? What does it mean in that I, context? Sure. Uh, actually, dress code in general, because there's really no other way to explain dress code. Dress code is the kind of clothes and shoes that you have to wear to a certain place. What is expected of you to wear? So uh, to give you an example, is it correct dress code to go to church in shorts? No, it's not appropriate. It wouldn't be appropriate, right? Even though probably there is no sign at the front of the door saying you can't come in with shorts but you already know that there is a dress code that is like not official. It's not, you don't talk about it, but everybody understands that it's not correct to go to, a, to the church with, a, with shorts on, right? Mm. Um, and the opposite is true also. For example, is it okay? Is it correct dress code to go to the beach? with uh, high heels and um, a dress, you know, a fancy dress. Not unless you're getting married, right? Or you have like, some sort of party <laughs> at, the, at the beach, right? But other than that, you wouldn't go to the, be to the beach with high heels, right? Como tacones, you, you mm -hmm. wouldn't go there to the beach with high heels. Like I said, unless you're having a party or you're getting married right? Uh, other than that, you wouldn't do that. So there, the dress code refers to that. What kind of clothes is expected of you to wear at a certain place? Yes, I remember when I began working at the company, uh -huh. they, this, they told us that anyone can go with the jeans, just formal dress. Right. And exactly. that is a dress code. Exactly. Right? Right. Okay. That, that's the dress teacher. code. So at your job, it, you, they don't say wear a uniform, but what they say is dress formally. No jeans mm -hmm. allowed. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Yes. All right. Any other questions? The pronunciation of appearance. Okay. Okay, so this word is pronounced appearance. Appearance. Can you repeat? Appearance. Appearance. Yes. Appearance. Stress is on the second syllable. Appearance. Appear. Appearance. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Any other words? No? Okay. All right. So all the vocabulary, all the pronunciation is clear for everybody, right? Yes? No? Okay. All right. So I'm going to get you to go back to your group and you're going to, you're going to practice this conversation. Okay. Uh, of course, you're going to take time to um, be Sarah and then be Walter or first be Walter and then be Sarah. Okay, so let's open up the groups. We're gonna do the same groups that we had before. Um, just give me a moment while I open them up. Okay, here we go. Here we go.
Sorry, guys. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was my fault. Um, <laughs> this one day, I don't know. We're going to leave now? <laughs> no. Um, okay, hold on. I, I stay um, right here. Okay. <laughs> Right now, we're starting this storm here in my home. Oh, really? Mm, it's windy. Okay. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Hello. 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 I was I was worried for somebody because I I, I know. Was, um, I'm sorry, Andres. I I had to move you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, but um, yeah, you guys can work together. So go ahead and talk and uh, practice the conversation. Okay. okay. I will be. You are Sarah. Sarah. Yes. I am. I am Walter. Okay. Okay. We need to we need to create the main steps to include in the manual to train. No, 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 no. no. You're just practicing the conversation. That's all you're doing. Only practice the conversation. I am reading the the conversation. Oh, okay. Sorry. I thought you were. Okay. I thought you were asking, Erin. Sorry. Sorry about no. that. Okay. okay. Go ahead. Uh, to train our staff, what do you propose? You are Sarah, okay? Okay. But you told we need to create the main step to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? This is, yes. the, this is okay. I am Walter, okay? Yes. Okay, I say. First, several need to know the correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't, wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how service should greet the customers and after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, it would be better if we include the several dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Yeah. Okay. Now you can be Sara and I will be Walter. Okay. I begin. We need to create the many steps to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't it be better? If chapter one is absolute, up, uh, is about how service should create the customer, and after that, how they need to present at the menu. Actually, it would be better if we, if we include the service dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Robert, aquí está. Okay, ahorita. Share. Okay, aquí está. Fabiola, were you able to get the manual or no? I'm I'm sharing the screen, teacher. So, oh, teacher. Yes. Are but, you able to see it? Yes. Ah, okay. Yeah, Let's okay. start it. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you want to start. Sada. Okay. Uh -huh. We need we need to create the main step to include in the manual to try our staff. What do you propose? Propose. 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 Uh -huh. First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Well, it be better if chapter one is about how 
cook servers. She will greet the customers and after the cook, they need to present the menu. Actually, it will be better if we include the server's dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Okay, mm -hmm. ahora cambiémonos. Yo soy Sara. Uh -huh. We need to create the main steps to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? Peer servers need to know the correct, the correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how servers should greet the customer and after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, it will be better if we include the servers dress code in appearance in the first chapter. Okay. Nada más acuérdate lo que nos dijo la teacher que es to present. Exactly. Eh, porque es el verbo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was going to mention. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, so don't forget that. The stress was on the second syllable. Present. Mm -hmm. to, present. Yeah. to present. To present. Yeah. Y lo otro era. Ay, no me acuerdo. Ah, bueno, démosle. Leamos otra vez. We need to create the main steps to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? Propose, uh -huh. propose. Um, First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Well, then it'll be better if. <laughs> We need to create the main step to include it in the manuals to try or stuff. What do you propose? Okay. First, servers need to note the correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't it be better in the chap chapters one is about how servers should create the customer and after that, how they need the present the minute? Actually, it will be better if they would include the server's dress code and appearance in the first chapters. chapters. Yeah, thank you. Wow. Um, it's very crazy, <laughs> the weather right now in my house. Uh, yes. Uh, I don't have internet again. <laughs> I have with my data. But we're, so far we're doing good, um, Yvonne. So yeah, uh, the good thing is for, it's almost, I mean, you have, we only have like half an hour left. So I think you should be able to make it. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher, I can hear you. Okay, good, good, good. All right, I'll see you guys in the main room. Okay, teacher. Okay, guys. Um, okay, very good. Um, so everybody understands the pronunciation, the the meaning of the words. It's all clear. Yes. 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 Okay. So in that case, what we're going to do is move on to our next um, exercise. Let me share. So, 
Hmm. Hold on. Give me a moment. Just a moment, guys. Any questions so far? No? Okay. All right. So, um, so guys, you probably know, everybody has probably a manual in your workplace, right? Yeah? Yes. Okay. Now, you probably know that the, these manuals come uh, divided into different sections, right? These sections, uh, you can find each section of the manual at the beginning of the book, of the manual, right? That is the area that we call an index, okay? So the index is, um, let's say, a list of the content that you will find in the manual, and it tells you specifically what page you um, you will find the information on. For example, um, who was it? I think was it who who told me that um, you you had um, was a jury that you you said that was 150 pages that uh, from no I had no. no it wasn't who said that the that um, the new manual had 150 pages. No, it, it is just 41 pages. Uh, oh, great you... policies. Oh, okay, in okay. In your job, Ivan, yeah, okay. So I knew there was somebody there. Okay, so Ivan, 150 pages, right? So he has to read 150 pages. Now, how is he gonna find the information mm. uh, that he needs in 150 pages? Well, he needs to go to the index. And the index is going to say, okay, you can find this particular information in the on this page. So it doesn't have to be looking through the whole 150 pages. He knows exactly which page to go to. That is an index. Or do we understand what an index is? Yes. Yeah? I know. Yes. Okay, good. All right. Yeah. So, okay, so now that you understand what an index is, let's take a look at it. Server Training Manual Index. So read the contents in a service, a service training manual. Organize the topics to create the index of the manual on the right. Then present your index to the class. Explain the reasons for your choice. So here is our manual. The topics are these. Setting a table, decanting wine, uh, requesting a shift change, following the schedule, addressing kitchen personnel. Uh, remember, it's personnel, not personnel, right? It's personnel. Getting to know the menu, uh, dress code, uh, addressing customers. And uh, Oh, by the way, guys, I, I wanted to ask you guys something. What is the difference between customers and clients? Mm. <laughs> Customer is the person and client. May, it can be a, a, a company or an enterprise. Yes, you're right. You're right. Um, but also uh, a, a, a a company can also be a customer. So what's the difference? I don't know. No? Sorry, okay. teacher, the difference of what? Customers and clients. Mm. It's not the same. It's not a synonym. No. Oh. I mean, they have similarities. Yeah, that they both buy something, right? I would think the client is someone uh, that regularly needs my service and 
there is like a kind of loyalty. I would think in that way, I don't know. Exactly, yes, you're absolutely right. Mm, okay. Um, just give me a moment while I write this down. And the customer just purchased one time and I don't remember you. <laughs> well, not necessarily one time, but it's somebody- it's more general. Yeah. Uh, um, and clients is more like more formal, like when you have a contract, maybe. Loyalty. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so a client, you don't necessarily have to have a contract to be a client, but um, a client is somebody that will go back to have business with the same company. Okay. So the, the best, I mean, ideally, what you want to do is create is change your customers to clients. Right? Customer is just somebody, you know, out there. They like the yes, they can purchase one time, they can purchase once in a while, you know, or you know, this is the first time they've ever purchased. But a client is somebody that you have business with regularly. Okay. Does that make sense for everybody? Yes. Yeah. Like uh, professional yeah. services. No. Could be, but, but not necessarily. What I want you to understand, there is a close uh, relation between yes. me and the, and the client, right? That means the person will always come back to make business with me for whatever reason, whether it's because I have a contract with them, whether it's because they like my services and they prefer them over other people, or whether it's because, you know, I give them better... Um, uh, I give them better discounts and, you know, they, they like that, you know, for whatever reason, a client always comes back um, regularly to uh, make business with a certain person or, or a company. Okay. Whereas a customer is, you know, can buy once, you know, can buy once in a while has no strings attached. Have you, do you guys know that the expression, no strings attached? Never heard of it? Nope. No. Nope. Oh, nope. A good one for you guys. Um, so this is an expression. No strings attached. Oh yes, I hear that. Before. You've heard it? Yeah. Do you know what it means? No strings attached. Uh -huh. Yeah, basically, so there's nothing, there's no, um, there's no commitment, there's nothing that holds you together with that person, or, or, you know, or that situation. Okay. Like, and they say, like in space, they say in Spanish, sin compromiso. Okay. All right, so. Um, there's nothing that says, oh, you have to do this. So that's a customer. The customer has no strings attached. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. Good. And um, continuing, we have uh, about tips and taxes. We understand tips and taxes. What are tips? Tips is the money. Yeah, tips and what what kind of money? Propinas. Right. Okay, but let's tell me in English. Tips. Fees. Tips is the money you receive from the customer uh, for the service you right. provide them. Exactly. Tip is the the money that you that um, you serve from the customer uh, for specifically because they the service that you gave them is something that they like, right? Okay. Um, sometimes the tip is, um, is mandatory and sometimes it's not, right? Okay, so it depends on the, on the restaurant. And taxes, taxes, what are taxes? Oh, what we need to pay. <laughs> At the end of every year, we need to present the tax. 
Right, but in the in the case of in the context of the restaurant, what are taxes? An, an extra cost we have to pay for the service received. Right. For and the for the um, government. Right. Exactly. That's what I wanted to get to. Uh, yeah, some country charge you even for go for the food at restaurants. Well, and and we also in, in El Salvador we pay taxes too. But maybe it's not in the ticket. Uh, I mean, exactly. <laughs> we just pay the 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 tip and the food and the thing is, yeah. But they, the taxes, the taxes always is included in the receipt. Yes, it's always mm. there. But sometimes mm -hmm. it's not the taxes, yeah. No, sometimes it's not showing 30 percent. But mm -hmm. in the menu, in the menu, when you read it, always is lower in the menu, say that 10 percent for the service. But maybe it's because it's including the price of the food. What when uh, uh, okay. because uh -huh, I, I mean, I was in Costa Rica once and I felt like. Uh, because they charge ah, 25% for, uh -huh, yeah. for every for every portion of the food they charge 25% uh -huh. of I tax. remember that in, in, this in country, another countries in, sorry in another countries uh, you see in the receipt yes. that uh, yeah. they collect the these taxes of the utility como se dice de los cubiertos utility no sí todo cobra <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. Oh, no, no. For the fork, for the knife. Oh, okay. No, okay. See, the thing is that it, it all depends on how it's presented. In each country, it's, gonna, it's presented differently. In El Salvador, the taxes are always there. It's just that it's not as clear as it would be in another country. Because in another country, they say, okay, this costs this much plus mm -hmm. the tax. But in our country, in El Salvador, they don't present it that way. Mm -hmm. They present it as this is how much it costs. So they say, for example, um, I don't know, something costs $15, okay? Mm -hmm. So they charge you $15. But, but in the, if you will look at the receipt, you will probably find that, I, I, I mean, I haven't done the math, but you will probably find that that thing does not cost $15. It probably cost um, 12 something, 12 37. And plus the tax, it comes up to $15. So they're always charging you tax. They just don't tell you because if they tell you, you know, because I think it's, it's, it's a matter of our, it's the way our country works that people say, you know, if if um, you say this plus this, they get scared. They go, oh my goodness, I have to pay so no, much. No, but, but what I mean in the context for the restaurants, uh, it's not, for example, you pay for your dish and you make course, and that is the price, and it's supposed it's including all the, the taxes. But in other countries, yes all the food based taxes in restaurants or if it's in general here i don't remember i don't know if the food collects tax too so in, in other countries i think um each item has a different tax mm -hmm. like um so food has one tax mm -hmm. uh, alcohol has another tax um but in our country it's there is no a uh, tax for this and tax for that. It's just one. Thing. Uh -huh. That's the difference. That's right. For example, when you import products from United States to this country, depend what kind of product you you buy, you are going to pay different taxes. That's right. See, uh, for example, if you buy electronic electronics or technology, you are going to pay maybe zero of taxes, but other kind of thing, you are going to pay maybe 15 or more. Yeah, so it, it, it really depends on the country. Yeah, uh, you're absolutely right. There are certain countries that uh, pay a lot more for certain things, especially in, since we're talking about restaurants, like one of the highest taxes is on uh, alcohol. You know, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yes. Okay. In so anyway, case of, teacher, in case of, of a ticket, this is a car. Huh? A ticket. What do you mean a ticket? Um. It's, it's a, it is a car ticket for multa, no sé. Oh, a fine. Yes, difference. Uh -huh. Different the, the cure. Yeah, that, that's actually called the fine. Una multa is called a fine. Um, I'll write it. Uh, I'll write it. Yes, out. fine. Like, I find you. <laughs> fine, fine. No, no. Fine. No, it's a fine. And why, ah. why the people say in the United States they are going, the policy is going to put a ticket when I drive in yes. really fast? Yes, uh, because um, you can, you get a ticket, but the fine is the money that you pay for it. That's what the oh. actual, the fine is like um, the, the, the penalty. Right, the ticket is the actual um, pay, piece of paper, and the fine is how much money you pay for it. Okay. 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 Um, all right. So, and then con continue here with us prevention of accidents and safety. Okay. So we have um, all of these different um, topics on the service training menu manual, and what I want you to do is decide. What is, should be the order of these of these topics? Which one should go first? Which one should go second? And give give reasons why you would put them in that order. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So let's get you guys to work in breakout rooms. Um, I'm going to get you to work. Um, in groups, okay, so not some, not pairs anymore, but groups. Okay. All right, um, so go ahead, join your group. In progress, I got some Okay, this so, oh, wow. so I think that following the schedule, schedule has to be one of the first. The first one. Yes. The first one. Uh huh. Uh, I think the same. The following the schedule. The second one, I I don't know if it can be uh, dress code or not. Yes, okay. Representation is very important. Yes, and okay. prevention on, of accident and safety, it can be? Yes. The third. Que, uh, 
addressing uh, uh, when you maybe serve uh -huh. the, the, the dishes. When you have... Addressing costume. Uh, is, is the way you try it. Teacher, uh, we are looking right now, what is the difference between setting a table and addressing customers? The dishes. What is the difference between? Uh, setting a table is... ¿Qué? Poner mantel o qué es? Um, then you... <laughs> exactly. Eso es. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. Y addressing the customers? Addressing the customer? Um, addressing is the way that you speak to them, the way that you greet them. Abordando. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. okay, so For the... me, is the number. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, the number two uh, for me is uh, addressing customer. Addressing customer. Mm -hmm. Okay. And number three, fall on the schedule, if you prefer. And number it, four, it, it, understand. I understand following the schedule for the server. So, if the restaurant opens at ten a.m., your schedule must be being eight a.m. to. I understand it in that way. I don't know. Yeah, the, so, the, the schedule of the chef. The server or the or uh -huh. will be the schedule of the restaurant. No, for me, it's the schedule of the server, right? For me, I see the first addressing customer. The number two, serving a table because I need to know the, the, the little things and then the, the more difficult things in the place. Um, getting to know the menu, dress code. I think the number two, I don't know. What do you think? Follow the schedule and, and then requesting a shift change because it's, it's a change for, for the schedule with other coworkers. Uh, well, yes, I don't know, but I see two different. Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, we are, what is the mean addressing kitchen personal? Es como quien decirle a los, a los cocineros que es lo que el, the customer is, they, what they want. No, a addressing is uh, the way that you speak to them. Um, so like, like when you say abordando. Mm -hmm. The way that, yeah, you, the way you, you talk to them and speak to them. I can say that how to speak with the person, more or less. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so different that the customer, so different that your friends, it's a staff, okay? Mm -hmm. I think, more or less. Yeah. So like, like, like a manager, okay? Mm -hmm. Maybe the number seven then. In prevention of accident and safety, maybe number eight. And the last thing that we need to know like, is tips. I don't know if we, if we are in this country. Schedule, on what dress code, prevent on accident and safety, getting to know the menu, addressing kitchen personnel, addressing customer, setting a table, uh, requesting. Uh, but setting the, the table Lay, uh, after getting to know the menu. Getting to know the menu. Before straight. setting table. Okay, Are you almost finished, guys? Yeah, almost. Yeah, almost. Mm -hmm. 
<gülüyor> Kalmadı. Uh -huh. Exactly. Setting a table, getting to know the menu, and then uh, the, the cutting wine. The canting. The canting. The canting wine. The canting wine. Um, the canting wine could be um, before, before getting to, to know the menu. Getting to know the menu, yeah. Uh -huh. Then uh, prevention of accident and safety, following the schedule, uh, dress code before the follow the schedule. Okay, you guys are almost ready? Yeah. Yes. Good. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Dress code follow description. It should be here now. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Um, so I'm hoping that you guys all have the opportunity of uh, making the list, putting them in the order that you think is more logical. Yes? Mm -hmm. okay. Good. All right. Because, uh, well, it's already time. So I'm just going to quickly go over the attendance. Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Javid. Present. Andres. Present. Dennis Orlando. No. Eh, Edgar Menjibar. Present teacher. Edith Jorreni. Irvin. Present teacher. Fabiola. Present teacher. Um, Heidi, Irene, present teacher, Ivan, present teacher, Josue, present teacher, Juan Francisco, Juan Francisco, present, present teacher, uh, Jury, present teacher, Luis, present teacher, Manuel, uh, Natalia, Present teacher. Wendy. Warner. Present teacher. Yvonne. Yvonne. Not here. Okay. Um, Edgar Enriquez. Eli. Jose Montes. Present. Jose Ayala. All right, guys, so that will be all for today. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow. And uh, today is Josue's one-on-one -on -one session. Okay, um, what you say, Josue? You sure? Okay, perfect. Okay, so I'll see you guys tomorrow, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Good night. 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 Okay. All right, Josue. So what can I help you with? ¿Qué le puedo ayudar? I think with the... Um, creo que sería con la plataforma. Creo okay. que algunos... Un de los primeros... Sí, sí, creo que no. Uh, una clase creo que no estuve y no me la ha podido, no los he podido pasar bien. Sería... Sé que, que creo que no había completado uno, es cierto. Sí, sí, creo, creo que ese sería. Uh -huh. Realmente no le encontré el... ¿Se acuerda cuál era? No sé si...
Ahorita, ahorita lo estoy buscando. Ok. Así de complementar. Ah, va. Sería el 1.9. Ah, ok. Vale. El 1.9, de hecho, era la, eh, la que nos estaba dando problemas en la plataforma, pero ya la... Oh, no, 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 no era la 1.9, era otra. Ah, ok. Es que me acaba de actualizar y creo que 1. y algo. Um, 1.7. No sé si será el internet que lo tengo lento, pero me dio la clase esa que no la había completado. Me actualizó y no me parece. Voy a ver si puedo meterme y puedo verlo desde mi, desde mi lado. Okay, por favor. No, no estoy segura si... Bueno, sí, creo que sí puedo verlo directamente cuál es el que... Solo noté que la nota estaba un poco más baja, pero eh, no me puse a, a ver cuál era. Pero déjenme ver si puedo, puedo entrar directamente al suyo. Quiero ver. Oh, es la 2.5. Ah, ok. La parte 2. Parece, first, then, after that, finally, next. Next. No sé si era un ejercicio de la clase o qué. En la 2.5 dice. Sí. Okay, nuevamente, de momentito. 2.5. No sé si ten, tiene algún algún orden o okay, qué, porque o sea, para mí es como first, then, pero no sé si tenía un orden diferente. Ahora yo soy la que la que se está tardando, veré. Ya voy a ver. Bye. ¿Cuál, de, ¿Cuál de todos? ¿La 2.5? ¿Qué número? Uh, la segunda parte ah, me parece no. first, then, that, finally. Entonces, ese va en un orden um, de secuencia lógica, ¿verdad? Entonces, lo primero. First. First, pero ¿qué, qué, qué ah. viene primero? Es un, es una, esto es similar. Ah, no, pero es que no, no estuvo ayer, ¿verdad? ¿O oh, sí? Estuvo ayer en clase. No estuve, sí. No estuvo ayer en clase. Ah, ok. Ah, pues, pues sí. Es como after that, ¿no? Vaya, uh -huh. entonces sabe que para que lo pueda entender a qué me refiero, um, le voy a enseñar lo que, porque yo hice algo similar en clase para que, le di un ejemplo similar en clase para que pudieran agarrar la idea. Entonces, vaya, lo voy a presentar ahorita. Ok, okay. eso fue lo que hicimos en clase. Entonces yo les puse ejemplo. First, he gets home and takes off his work clothes. ¿Vale? Entonces, ese es el orden, ¿verdad? Cuando, imagínense, imaginemos un hombre, ¿verdad? Llega a su casa, tipo, no sé, cinco y cinco de la tarde, seis de la tarde, por ahí. ¿Ok? First, he gets home and takes off his work clothes, ¿verdad? O sea, se quita su ropa, su uniforme y después se pone algo cómodo, ¿verdad? After that, he turns on the TV and watches the news for 30 minutes. Pero se relaja un poquito, ve la tele uh, por 30 minutos, ve las noticias, ¿verdad? Ok, entonces, es en un orden. Y después, um, él quiere ser un poquito activo, ¿verdad? Porque es un hombre muy activo. So, afterwards, he goes for a quick run around the neighborhood. Ok, le da, le da la vuelta al, 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 um, al vecindario, ¿verdad? Va trotando. Y claro, ya cuando llega a su casa de vuelta, está eh, sudando. Entonces, then he takes a shower. ¿Verdad? Es un orden lógico, ¿verdad? Sí. Y por último, finally he cooks. No, si la secuencia sí la comprendo. La comprendo. La secuencia, o sea, de first, after that, and then, y por último, finally. Lo que, o sea, no, o sea en la plataforma era como... 
cómo armarlo. O sea, si solamente finalist, no me sale bien. O sea, si le pongo al principio first, no me sale bien. Si le pongo la frase completa, tampoco. Entonces, ese okay. es el error que tengo. Entonces, eh, lo que usted tiene que hacer es, la respuesta simplemente es la palabra. La mera, mera palabra. Pero le puse first. Con Pero cuál? Mayúscula. No, la primera, no, la primera. No, so, ponga solo la palabra. No, no lo pongo mayúscula, no le ponga comas porque la coma ya está ahí. Solo ponga la palabra. Pues puse first como la cuál? primera y no me aparece. La número uno que es We Wash Ditch. Oh. Ahí está el punto. Porque no, no tiene oh. lógica en la secuencia. Tiene que ir en, en, en lo lógico. ¿Qué es lo que pasa primero? Esa es como una historia. Por eso se le estaba enseñando la anterior. Porque eh, es como una historia, ¿verdad? Una lógica. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que pasa primero? Lo lógico que pasa en esta historia es... We get home from work. Exacto. ¿Ah? Para poder lavar los datos, tenemos que primero llegar a casa. Yeah. Okay. So... So the, uh, so the first would be in number five, right? Ahí le tengo. Bueno, ese es el que no le lleva sentido, entonces. Ajá. Pero ahí Pero sí, no. sí. Ok. Entonces solo siga el, el orden lógico de, de la historia, ¿verdad? Sí, si, o sea, si llevamos a la casa. Pero es lo que no, no le he encontrado, o sea, de que si llevaba secuencias. Yo pensé que eran como aleatorias. Ajá, no, 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 no. Tiene que llevar secuencias. O sea, por ejemplo, vamos a lavar los platos, pero ¿cuándo vamos a lavarlos? Después que hayamos comido, ¿verdad? No, no, o sea, yo lo que había hecho era poner el orden, pero como iban como en secuencia, ¿verdad? First, como número uno, no, after, no, como número dos, y finally como número cinco, pero no es así. No, 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 no. Tiene que, usted tiene que ir viendo el orden um, lógico de la historia y después ponerle cuál va primero, va cuál va su segundo y así. ¿Ok? Sí, pero ya la entendí que la número 5 es first. Ajá, cabal, cabal. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Pues por el momento sería eso, teacher. No, ahorita estoy como con la cuestión del trabajo. Entonces sí, yo sé. No me viene pero algo hacia la mente. Sí, I know, I know. That's okay, though. Pero gracias por siempre conectarse. ¿Verdad? Porque yo Ay, sé que... Realmente no... ayer sí no, no quise hacerlo porque venía de San Miguel. No sé, es bien sí. oscura la carretera. Entonces no sí. pude conectarme. Sí, tiene razón. Pero igual, eh, agradecemos ahí el esfuerzo, sé que... No, gracias a usted por su paciencia y la forma como nos explica. Realmente, lo agradecemos mucho. Ah, no, pues ya sabes, un, un placer para mí siempre poder ayudarles para que... Para eso estamos. Ok. okay. Bye, pues cuídese entonces. Eh, cualquier... Feliz noche, Luis. Gracias, igualmente. Cualquier cosa ahí, uh, pone ahí en el, en el chat si tiene alguna otra duda de, del de la plataforma, pero creo que todo es, hasta el momento creo que eso sería todo. Sí, igual ahorita soy como terminando la poniéndome ya, al día porque ya, igual ya corrigió el, el, el la, la respuesta de 1.9 1.9 la que, la que nos estaba sí, dando no. problemas porque ya está, ya está corregida entonces no vaya a ser que le cause problemas después a ver, creo que sí la había corregido Okay. De hecho, con la 1.9 no tuve problemas. Ah, va, ok. Está Perfecto. bien. Ok, excelente. Ah, pues sí, entonces, um, ¿anything else I can help you with? No, no, no. Thanks, teacher. Ok. For your help. All right, take care then. Ok, bye. Bye bye. bye, bye.